Hello everyone. In this tutorial series, we are going to be doing computer programming. And um, if you've never done programming before, um, you're at the right place. But at the same time, I'm also going to be making this uh, interesting for people who may have done some kind of programming before. But um, if you feel like this course is going uh, too fast at times, just um, watch these videos more than once. And uh, one thing that I want you to remember uh, when uh, learning programming is you should try doing stuff on your own. So don't just rely on these videos or some text from a book. Open a computer, uh, try doing things that you see in a video and uh, you, should be, you should be good. So uh, let's get right into it and um, for programming one of the um, most commonly used operating system is um, our Linux based operating systems and uh, you may be using uh, Ubuntu which is uh, much more common but uh, what I use here is uh, something called Cinnamon Mint um, but don't worry uh, everything that I do here should work on an Ubuntu as well um, so the first thing that you should know is if you hit Control Alt and T uh, this is what opens up and uh, this is called the terminal and you can uh, also enter it by just um, searching for terminal here um, there it is um, or you can just hit this or this these are all buttons for uh, the terminal and uh, this terminal as you can see it has some text here and um, a cursor here where I can write stuff and uh, this is meant for me to write commands here um, and you'll have to know quite a few commands so the first command that I'd like to show is something called an echo command and echo basically just repeats or prints out again whatever I write here so if I write let's say Shreyas um, and I hit enter it writes Shreyas here so uh, that's one of the most basic commands that I wanted to show you um, there are other commands as well so basically you can just use your entire computer from a terminal um, so let's open a directory and uh, if I asked you to create a folder here uh, the first thing you would do is probably right click and say create new folder and um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to first try and create a folder from my terminal so uh, right now the first thing that I'll have to do is I'll have to do a CD which stands for change directory and that's because uh, this tilde you see right here stands for my home and um, the directory that I'm in in here is the CP directory so if I want to change the directory that I'm in um, I write CP and then I write um, uh, sorry I write CD and then I write the name of the directory so that's CP and if I hit enter uh, you can see it says uh, tilde slash CP now um, slash basically stands for uh, a directory in a directory so all of those will be separated by uh, these forward slashes you see right here and if I want to create a folder um, I'll have to use a command which is mkdir which stands for make directory so folders uh, we also call them uh, directories so uh, let me just create a folder here and I'll name it test and if I come back here as you can see I've created a folder here called test which is empty right now uh, so let's also go inside of this test directory um, so I'll go cd test and if I hit enter now I'm inside the test directory so uh, that's the first thing that I wanted to show you um, another thing is uh, listing directories so let me just go back to the top so these two dots that I use here stand for uh, the parent directory and a single dot stands for uh, the current directory that I'm in so uh, if I say dot it stands for uh, this CP directory and if I say dot dot it stands for whatever this tilde means so uh, let me just go again um, to 
my tilde directory and um, the tilde is actually uh, let me just tell you this right now tilde is known as my home which uh, so when I say my it actually belongs to Shreyas it is the user known as Shreyas uh, it's the home of the user known as Shreyas so that's what tilde means and um, so let's say I don't know what uh, directories and what files there are in this um, in this directory that I'm right now in I can do an ls um, which lists the directories and the files so as you can see I've got a cp directory I've got a music I've got screenshots uh, I've also got a txt file here which is test.txt so uh, that's what ls does and uh, you you should also be able to use ll uh, which gives you uh, much more details about um, all of these uh, files and folders that you have here and uh, if you'll notice this when I do ll it gives me uh, much more uh, many more directories than what ls gave me and the reason for that is that all of these uh, directories you see right here the extra ones uh, for example this bash history or whatever uh, they're all hidden so uh, so these hidden uh, files and directories are only shown when you uh, do an LL um, if you want to do an LS and still get these uh, you'll find that you'll find out how to do that uh, in a few minutes so when I use commands I also have um, some flags associated with it some options associated with it for example when I do an ls and I want to say that give me um, these hidden ones as well so I can use a hyphen a flag um, and flags will generally start with a hyphen so if I uh, do an ls hyphen a um, if you see right here it gives me um, all of these um, all of these hidden files as well although it doesn't give me all the details so um, let me just use another flag and uh, remember that Linux machines are in general case sensitive so the dash a flag and the uh, uppercase a are different so let me just do an ls hyphen a and if I hit enter now um, it gives me all of them but um, it doesn't give me these two which is basically the current directory and the parent so it skips giving those two but it gives me all the other files that I have here um, so let me just clear out the, com uh, the terminal and the way to do that is I can type clear um, another way to do that is just to hit control L uh, that will clear the uh, terminal too so uh, we've taken a look at uh, how we can uh, navigate between directories how we can um, make directories how we can list directories um, another thing that I want to talk about is um, the difference between uh, the tilde and the slash so let me just go to the slash um, and if I hit enter now now as you can see I was earlier in the uh, tilde which is uh, home of the uh, user known as Shreyas and now I'm in uh, slash so uh, if I hit an ls here uh, I've got a lot of uh, directories I've got bin dev uh, lib64 I've got root I've got um, home as well so uh, this slash actually stands for uh, the root of the entire file structure so uh, everything all the files that I uh, make in a Linux machine will be um, will start with the absolute path to it uh, will start with uh, this forward slash right here so uh, what if I wanted to go to this tilde from this forward slash uh, the way to do that is go into this home so uh, let me just first do an ls home um, so uh, from what I've done here uh, you should know that I can also do ls and then give it uh, a name of a directory um, and that will list all the contents of that directory so let me just hit enter and it, 
it has Shreyas here. So let's just go into home uh, slash Shreyas. I can also navigate between directories um, by actually entering the path. And this path that, that I enter is um, considered from wherever I am. So I'm right now at this slash. So let's say if I did something like uh, just do a CD Shreyas and if I hit enter, it'll say uh, no such file or directory. Uh, that's because it is considering changing directory from uh, the slash directory and the slash directory doesn't have uh, any file or directory known as Shreyas. So let's just do CD home slash Shreyas and if I hit enter, as you can see, I reach the tilde. It um, let's just do this once again. This time, I'll just go into home. Um, actually, I'll have to go here first, and I'll have to do a CD home. And uh, now, as you can see, my uh, working directory changed to sl slash home. And uh, now, if I do an ls, it gives me these two. And if I do a shreyas. It doesn't say slash home slash Shreyas. It just says tilde because that's what uh, the ho that's what the home of the Shreyas user uh, is denoted by. So uh, that's about slash and tilde. And uh, one last thing that I want to mention in this video is um, actually there are a couple of uh, things that I want to mention. Uh, the first is let's go into the CP directory and uh, let's do uh, a, let's use a command called pwd which stands which stands for uh, present working directory and if I hit enter it says slash home slash Shreyas slash cp so this is the uh, w directory that I'm in right now so if I do a cd test um, and if I do pwd here um, it now says slash home slash Shreyas slash cp slash test so uh, that's about PWD um, and uh, the last thing that I want to show you here is what if I do CD without um, giving it any path. So in that case it gets me back to this tilde right here. So let's just try doing that if I do a CD it gets me back to my home directory. So that's what I wanted to mention in this video. Um, this is just an introduction to the Linux file structure. And um, this is actually very important. Uh, make sure you understand all of this. Uh, we'll be using a lot of commands from here on. And um, to follow that, you may have to, uh, you may need all of the things that we discussed in this video. So I'll see you in the next one.